affect our economy. Uh, the ability to have full uh, control over one's reproductive health has real-world economic consequences. According to the Institute for Women's Policy Research, current state-level abortion restrictions already cost the United States about $105 billion annually due to reduced earning levels, increased job turnover, and time off for women. So, Secretary Yellen, uh, if the draft of the court's majority holding in Roe versus Wade is the actual decision, what impact will the loss of abortion access mean economically for women? Well, I believe that eliminating the right of women to make decisions about when and whether to have children would have very damaging effects um, on the economy and would set women back decades. Roe v. Wade and access to reproductive health care, including abortion, helped lead to increased labor force participation. It enabled uh, many women to finish school. That increased their earning potential. It allowed women to plan and balance their families and careers. And research also shows that it had a favorable impact on the well-being and earnings um, of, of children. Um, there are many research studies that have been done um, over the years looking at the economic mm -hmm. impacts of access or lack thereof to abortion, and it makes clear that denying women access to abortion increase their odds of living in poverty or need for public assistance. For half of the uh, population of America, eliminating a right that has existed for half a century particularly for low-income and minority women who have already shouldered much of the burden from the COVID pandemic would be a, a disaster.